All right, guys, we are back down working on the new walker. And I got my gasket kit in. I actually ordered uh, both sides. I've got the head gasket for the other side as well. Um, not that I was going to replace it right now, but I actually ordered the wrong one. They're different for the one and two sides. And uh, I ordered the wrong one, called to cancel, and they made a mistake and didn't cancel and sent it to me anyways, and they told me to just keep it, which is nice, because this is about a $50 kit. So the kit consists of, now this is just one of them, I've got the uh, the other side still uh, in my truck. Comes with new nuts, as opposed to the old ones. New spacers, as opposed to the old ones. You reuse the studs, and it comes with a new intake gasket and exhaust gasket. So basically everything that you remove to take the head off. I have given the head a really good cleaning. If you saw in the previous video, we got this all surfaced really nice. Ready to go with the new gasket. So we're all set there. And uh, one of the things, I don't know if I've mentioned it yet in the video or not, but I'm actually hesitant to believe that the head gasket uh, was actually blown this time. I think when the guy went in to replace the head gasket the first time, it might have been blown. But the second time, I actually think that this intake manifold here, as I was cleaning this head, I realized this. This is your intake uh, port right here. And this actually flows antifreeze through the head because it's liquid cooled. Which is actually connected to these ports here. You pour water in here, it comes out here, or I don't know if it comes up the cylinder, up into these holes, and then flows back out here. This is where the, it goes out, but what I actually think happened is, I think when they replaced the head gasket, they didn't replace this intake gasket. And I think it was ripped or broken right in between here, which would cause the water, you've got vacuum right here, so if this leaks, it can suck the water, especially once it has pressure, suck it right into the intake and right into your cylinder. So could be the head gasket, could have been the intake gasket. I'm not sure which one it was, but we're replacing them both anyways. So let's see. And I have the other side of the kit too. Um, the only thing is I would think that if it was the intake, um... You know, when it was sucking in, I would have thought maybe it still might, when one cylinder's on the intake stroke, some of that water might have made its way to the other cylinder through the intake, and it would have smoked too, but I don't know. Um, regardless, we're replacing them both. Going to have a new gasket on both surfaces like we should, and uh, I'm going to be very careful not to damage it when I put it together because it is a tight squeeze here. I'm going to try not to loosen this side of the manifold if I can get away with it. Um, because that's just going to possibly introduce a leak there. And then I might end up having a leak on that side. So I'm going to go ahead and try to put it together uh, carefully. Sliding the gasket in here. I'm just going to try to pry it just a little bit. It's really not much give to it at all, actually. So we'll see, see if I'm able to do this or not. Worst case, I might have to loosen that side. If I do loosen this side and... It looks like it's definitely been taken apart on the side, so maybe they did replace both of the intake gaskets, I don't know. But if I need to get a little bit of extra room in there and I can't slide this gasket in, once I got the head on, I'm going to have to loosen this side as well. We'll see how it goes.
just going to put some water in it for now. I'm not going to put any freeze because I don't want to waste it. And I don't have any. Probably would take the chance in putting some in if I had it, but I don't. So I can always drain and re refill this, kind of do a flush afterwards. Make sure I got the petcock tight from when I drained it. We're good. Usually I'm confident with things like this. Usually I'm confident with things like this. I'm not confident this time um, for the simple fact that uh, I actually realized that I have the uh, Drive belt still disconnected, but that's fine. Let's just take the uh, keyway off so we don't lose that. We don't need to move it anyways. We're just going to start it. Uh, usually I'm confident, and um, the reason I'm not this time is because I didn't visually, visibly see the issue. You know, I suspect what the issue was, but looking at the head gasket didn't uh, seem to prove anything to me. So gonna go ahead and fire it up I do anticipate it's gonna smoke for some time period you know what before I do that let me I'm gonna connect this back up just because I want to be able to bring it outside if it's smoking which I know it's going to be I don't want to have to shut it off and then do this when it's hot all right so as i was saying i'm normally confident in my repair ability but because it wasn't obvious that that was the issue this time i have my doubts so we're going to go ahead and fire it up like i said it's going to smoke because there's still some water in the system and in the muffler uh, i'm going to go ahead and open the door up and uh We're going to try running it and see if we lose the smoke. That's what I'm hoping for. Cross your fingers. Of course the battery's dead. some reason the throttle's not working I'm having a problem with the cable I'm going to uh, mess with that a little bit and see what the problem is 
Doesn't seem to want to rev. There we go. to be clearing up. That's a good sign. Seems when I move or shake it around, that's when it smokes. Let me take it for another little spin here. think guys no smoke running like a top I do have to adjust the throttle boy is that motor quiet and smooth tell you I think it's fixed
one happy camper right here. Thousand dollar walk a mower cost me fifty dollars for the gasket. Good. It, it, and the temperature gauge, temperature gauge does work. No service engine soon. Water temperature warning light is out. Oil pressure is out. We'll see if that. See if that charged it enough to start it on its own. Good times, good times. So, there is no doubt that is fixed. Whether or not it blows it in another hour of running, I don't know. I don't know why it blew the first time. I don't know why it blew the second time. But I know it's not leaking now because it stopped smoking completely. Um, and I also did realize, too, that I need to change the oil. I forgot that the uh, oil is mixed with... Uh, water from when it was leaking so i'm going to drain that while it's nice and hot right now put some fresh fresh oil in there i'm going to drain the oil filter out too to get rid of all the rest of that i don't have a replacement oil filter on it so for now i'm just going to uh drain out the oil that's in that filter Oop, that's hot but it's got pressure in it which is good that means it's not shooting uh the antifreeze into the cylinder Yeah, wow. All right, guys. Uh, sorry about this uh, long-winded wow, but I was actually expecting this to be somewhat of a pain in the butt to figure out. Thought there was going to be more to it. it. Just seemed too good to be true type of thing. And she's running. I'm going to uh, bring it on a job and try it out. Curious. Well, I can't really give the uh, deck a good test as far as the uh, mulching because the grass isn't growing yet. So if I want to use this to, uh, maybe I'll put it on a lawn that I'm doing a spring cleanup and I'll mulch the leaves up first and then use this to suck them up. That'll give this a good run to see how it works and at least help, help grind up the leaves before I do suck them up in that machine. So um, the only other thing, like I said, I'm waiting for is this panel right here. Uh, and this machine's pretty much done. I got all the little rubber stoppers installed where they go, uh, the other one down here, one up here. Got the new throttle knob. Got the replacement brake handle. This here, the old one was all worn out. So, we're looking good, looking good. Two machines ready to go. All right guys, thanks for watching.